Brush on cloth. Cool. Cross hatching. That's nice, right? You can cross stippling. Nice. All right. So a lot of these are pretty cool. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take the soft lead and I'll grab this here and I will delete all this. Okay. So the other mode that we can go into while we're here, we can go into our drawing mode. Right. This gives us this takes away all this stuff here at the bottom, but gives us this. We can get our thing here. Uh, this lets us see all the other drawings, but it doesn't scale it if things are keyframed. Create color item from line art, don't want to worry about that. Top light, change how much you see in preview that's drawing and skin. New tool preset. I've actually never played with this, I'm not 100% sure what it does, so maybe we'll find out. But this is your, you're going to be drawing here uh, at 100%, so if you scale in or out your screen, it doesn't, or the drawing, size like with a peg or a keyframe it doesn't affect the size of the stuff here and again here we could look at if i click on this eyeball i can draw here on the vector layer come to my underlay layer and i still see my vector layer so this is now my bitmap layer and you can kind of see the quality difference this has a softer edge if i turn this off i don't see any of these layers that are unhighlighted so essentially each drawing is like a Photoshop layer with four layers. But what I wanna do here is I'm gonna take this soft lead and I'm gonna come here to this little triangle here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, uh, with this little plus, I'm gonna create a new brush, which will be my general pencil brush. AD, so for Andrew, underscore pencil, underscore one, underscore brush, nurse brush okay we'll click ok here maximum size 12 i'm going to go to 15 to start with minimum size is zero so i want to go from 15 to zero roundness 100 to zero hardness and spacing hardness i want to be zero i think yeah because that is the outer part here right so that so i tend to like that down around zero Pen tilt sensitivity angle function. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I don't want random size. I'm not too worried about that spacing. But I'm going to come to transparency. Maximum flow 100. Minimum zero. Maximum opacity. Minimum opacity. I don't want random. All right. I'm not going to worry about dual tip. It's going to just create a bunch of problems. And here's where I can pick the texture that they have. Or I could, you know, also make my own texture. The other thing is that I can decrease the scale of the texture here so if i decrease this down you can kind of see here how it looks different see that how it's a lot tighter i kind of like it there too i like this texture here as it is and if i hit this little update brush preset so that's going to save it when you see a little star that means it's not when you reload it's not going to give you the same brush preset i'm curious do i want anti-aliasing i do <laughs> yes i do okay thank you so again circular tip Hardness at zero, spacing I left alone. I don't think it's a big deal, right? And then I can, with pressure, increase the size and the darkness, just kind of like you would with a real pencil. That's a crazy looking brush. I like that. What's going on there? I don't know what that is. It's not, uh, oh, that's just that brush shape. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll look into that later. That's a fun shape though. And that's basically it. That's what I like for my brush, you know, draw my circle and this is what I like doing for my my sketching another option that I have with this if I come into my color I could actually drop this alpha down and so it's going to automatically now draw with a level of transparency and since it's additive you know as I draw over it it'll it'll thicken it and that can just kind of come down to your own preference but I think it's only looks like it's only additive when you, well, it's a little added, or maybe it's just because I'm pushing it. Yeah, it's additive only when you pick it up. So you have to pick up the pen to get the additive function here. Let's go back to 200, 207, that's fine enough. And then here's another way that we can adjust this. So we come here to our properties. Uh, I actually have to feel it soft. So if I kind of up this, um, means I have to push harder to get more response. That's actually not bad, but that's a little small, you know, for just a light touch. So what I think I'd like to do here is kind of keep this at a little soft feel. And I'm going to come, I have a, this has a little remote buttons. Let's come here for harmony. This points to my outer keys. So 
Um, what I have here are these two keystrokes, alt and brackets, uh, the square brackets. This is a display toggle. Um, I don't want to change that because it's kind of in my way. And then this is my Toon Boom 2401 on-screen shortcuts, which is this right here. This is page up, page down, uh, and I believe that does something. And I'll remember what it is in a minute. Inner keys, shift, alt, space, control. Ring keys, undo, redo. So this top two, undo, redo, keystroke. This opens a brush panel. This is a save, new layer. I don't know that this will work with this one. So we'll, we'll be customizing kind of as we go uh, with this. And I'm using mostly the outer keys here. And I'm mostly going to actually be using these to page down. It does something, but I forget what now. But what I need is, all right, let's go to remote here. Inner keys, touch ring, touch ring. Okay, keystroke, brush size. All right, let's go keystroke. Let's see what I actually have here. Right, alt, bracket, bracket. Okay, so that is what I want. So you can see, um, so I'm actually doing it, but you can see that it's not actually working because, let's first do this, let's delete all this then that didn't delete because it is on a different layer. So we actually need to come here and delete that. So we come back here to my brush. We're going to go to edit keyboard shortcuts. This one they have actually keyboard shortcuts. I'm actually going to do Adobe Flash, um, which doesn't even exist anymore, but um, it's closer to what I'm used to, the shortcuts. Um, again, it's complete to your preference but I'm going to search by name and brush. So we get auto create color art from brush. Nope. Brush tool. Nope. Change resolution. Nope. Convert. No. Pencil lines to brush strokes. No. No. There we go. Decrement brush size, which is a weird way of saying it, but, um, and what we have for decreasing is alt right alt and bracket right press shortcuts there bracket all right so that's what we're going to do for that one and then increment brush size we're going to alt opposite click ok close this so now here's our brush and i'm just using the wheel let's see this should be working, but it's not. And I wonder if that's because, let's go to my remote, go to my touch ring, right? Here we go. Harmony preset keystroke. Now it should still work though, right? Right, alt, well, let's clear this and let's just go alt this, okay? We can clear that, we'll go alt right. Doesn't, doesn't, still doesn't wanna do it. Right, this auto scroll zoom this does a whole lot of so what is going on might you know skip all of this because this is irritating as a lot of things hmm oh right let's try changing this to tb just click ok tb brush right there hmm. well click options enable for more anxiously tip up assistance i don't know let's just turn that Still not working, huh? Now let's see if the keyboard shortcut actually even works. Okay, so the keyboard shortcut works. So bigger brush, smaller brush. As far as this goes, right, it says it's TB. And let's go to outer keys back again here. Display toggle. Oh, right, this is our brush size, right? Here we go. So I've got that set up here for now. Why do I draw circles like this? I don't know. But for now, this is my setup. I'm definitely a fan of kind of hacking this a little bit. This to a red, maybe drop it down the darkness just a little bit. And I think I'm actually gonna keep both of these at full. So I got my blue and my red, and I'm just drawing some shapes here. I've been drawing a lot lately, so I'm gonna be a little rusty. Although I guess I don't really wanna make excuses for myself here, but this is all I got for now. So if we can come here to camera, um, I'm doing the same thing, you know, I can zoom in and out here and uh, this will give me, show me the spot relative to the camera and kind of the nice thing is I'm not smudging with my fingers, right? 
a couple of eyes here. Uh, do snails have noses? Snail, okay, going on here. So let's go back to here because there are a couple that I need. So here, instead of app shortcuts, uh, we're gonna go keyboard, keystroke, key, I believe it's shift N, and then this one, keyboard, keystroke, shift X. So if I remember correctly, shift N will reposition and shift X will uh, reset the rotation. So if I move stuff around, I can shift in, it comes back to middle. Here, shift X, or if I turn it, shift X sets it back to its rotation. I think shift M is a full thing, but I can always do that right here. It sets it back to the fit the screen, right? And then I'm just gonna be kind of sketching and drawing. And as I sketch and draw, uh, you'll see me do a couple things. I'm gonna grab my cutter here. If I don't like where something is, I can I'll grab around, I can cut it, move it around, squish it around a little bit, you know? And I'll be trying a bunch of different things, but I think what I'll do for any of this part is I will time-lapse the video. Oh, I'm gonna change my eraser here real quick. So let's go to eraser. It's the same thing here. Actually, just, maybe just medium eraser is fine. Yep, medium eraser is fine. Maximum 50, minimum zero, I still like that. Uh, yeah, I might maybe come down to about 50 on hardness, and I'm just gonna save it there. And yeah, that's a good eraser for now. And I can do the same thing Oops, I did before. Uh, this will increase and decrease in size. But now I can do this, and then with my pen, I can actually just flip it up and erase, kind of like a normal person, almost, you know? So we'll go from here and see what we come up with.